We're back at 13 after the hour. June is National Home Safety Month, and we're going to bring that to your attention today because now, get this, more than 5,000 fall-related deaths happen in the country every year right in your own home. And one-third of all injuries happen in the home. There are 21 million medical visits from home injuries every year. So WECC's Claire Hossman is live at a home in Wilmington to demonstrate some uh, ways to keep everyone safe. Good morning, Claire. Good morning, Bob and Kim. One of the most important places that we need to tackle today is the kitchen because, as you know, the kitchen is kind of where everyone tends to congregate a lot. So there are a few simple little things that you need to keep in mind, especially if you have infants or senior citizens that are spending time here with you. Uh, Bob and Kim, I'm joined this morning by Blair Lampo. She's uh, with Liberty Home Care. She's a liaison, and she does this for a living, so she's definitely uh, equipped with some good advice. Good morning, Blair. Hi, how are you? We're good. Now let's talk about, I see in your hand there, you're holding some uh, cleaning stuff, which as you know, most people definitely have around the home. And, and tell us what people are doing wrong and what they can do to fix it. Okay. Um, a lot of people tend to store their cleaning materials down here underneath the cabinet, um, but that's easy for a child or a senior to access. So what we at Liberty advise people to do is to put their cleaning materials up in a cabinet that's high, um, make room for them and then possibly put a lock on it so that seniors and children can't easily get up there. Sure, because you know anyone with a toddler running around that's so easy to grab into. Yeah. And another thing that's easy to walk into, if you have a stove top, some people have the features that are on the side, so it's just so easy to bump into and accidentally turn it on, and you never ever want to leave the stove on. So get something like this, right Blair, this works better? Exactly. Yeah, up here there, it's not as easy for someone to get their hands on it that may be confused or for a small toddler, um, so it really cuts down on the risk of a fire or someone getting burned. Okay, um, and I just want to go over two things real quickly. Whenever you have pots and pans, keep those handles away. You don't want somebody coming by and grabbing it. And sharp knives, never ever keep them in a drawer. Keep them in something like this where those sharp edges are pushed away or again just like with lock and key just lock them up don't have them somewhere easily accessible and coming up we're going to take you through the house and show you some other little tweaks and things you can do to keep everyone safe Bob and Kim back to you all right Claire thanks very much